Yes, there are more unpaved roads than paved roads it becomes quite of a problem like you know the roads are dirt roads so obviously when water touches it it's mud and there's mud everywhere don't go streets to greet elders in ghana rather we say i go aquaba hello welcome to my channel once again once again um today i am bringing you videos of some foreigners who are living in ghana they shared their experiences and i just want you to listen carefully to whatever they said uh, some of the things i cannot disagree and some of the things too i do agree with them so let's go i don't want to waste much time let's go into the videos watch come back and talk about it i'm a foreigner living in ghana of course let's go i'm a foreigner living in ghana of course people think i have money crazy I'm a foreigner living in Ghana. Of course, I pay much more than Ghanaian. Meanwhile, Ghanaian pay in Ghana cities, we are paying in dollars. It's crazy. I'm a foreigner living in Ghana. Of course, in my everyday life, I can't count the number of men that would arrest me to have my number. Huh. I'm a foreigner living in Ghana. Of course, people are surprised when they speak, see me speaking English. Like, what were you expecting? I learned. Living in Ghana. Of course, people are surprised when I tell them that I did more than eight years here. Oh, yeah, I did. I did. I'm a foreigner living in Ghana. Of course, Ghanaian men want to have an experience with me. I don't know what you guys are saying with us, but please, we are tired. Relax, let us breathe. Okay. I'm a foreigner living in Ghana. Of course, I go out every weekend. Ghana is nice. How? Huh? I'm a foreigner living in Ghana. Of course, every year I have to renew my resident permit, which costs a lot. I'm a foreigner living in Ghana. Of course, people are surprised when I tell them I'm bilingual. Of course, I speak French. I'm a foreigner living in Ghana. Of course, I like Ghana and I like being here. But please, the economy, talk to your people. They are tired. <laughs> I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana and everyone believes I'm supposed to know how to speak three. Boss, Ade, Ade, yes, sir. Oh, oh, Masa, 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 me, me, Pesa. Because I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana and every time you receive something from a Ghanaian, you say, Medasu, why? Thank you, please. Of course, I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana and everyone believes we are the loudest in the room. Ude, 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 Ude. Of course, I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. We don't post streets to greet elders in Ghana. Rather, we say, Aiko, Akwaba. Of course, I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana and every Ghanaian believe that we Nigerians are ballers. Of course, I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. You can't live in Ghana without speaking the Ghanaian pidgin. Hey, Kofi, if you talk and say, bring the back on behalf of the joke. Of course, I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. And trust me, it is easy for the Ghanaian brothers to spot that you are a Nigerian because Omo. Ah, ah. Of course, I'm a Nigerian. And in Ghana, yeah, everything is done with mobile money. But do you mobile money? <laughs> of course, I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. And definitely, I'm going to put my banana in my Ghana Jolo because this is a flavor. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm an Nigerian living in Ghana. Ghana Jollof is amazing. It is so tasty and delicious. But Nigerian Jollof rice, I mean, Nigerian party Jollof rice is to die for. I give it a phone. Of course, I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. People think I came to do streets. So my brother. Of course, I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. People think I can't speak their local language. My pal chow, you never sound right. Of course, I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. People think I only eat Nigerian food. Me yet go continue being quiet. What shocked me about living and being in Ghana? that i'm not used to living in canada all right so number one rain 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 in ghana <laughs> means everything is canceled work is canceled stores are canceled plans are canceled events are canceled when it's raining in ghana the world stops like literally the prices for uber and boats go up 20 percent like usually i pay 12 cd to go from my house to work when it's raining i'm paying 
30s or 40s. Sometimes you even see 50s or 60s. That's how serious it is. Rain is also an excuse to not go to work. If you call your boss and say, oh, I can't come to work because it's raining, it's valid. It's understood because it's raining. When it's raining, you can go to stores and they wouldn't have opened that day. Why? Because it's raining. Just expect that stores are closed. Food joints by the side of the road. Some of them won't come. Why? Because it's raining. Everywhere is muddy, obviously, but because there are more unpaved roads than paved roads, it becomes quite of a problem. Like, you know, the roads are dirt roads, so obviously when water touches it, it's mud, and there's mud everywhere, like literally everywhere. If you have plans, just know that your plans are canceled because it's raining. Flooding. There are some areas that will flood when it's raining because again the roads are not paved so the plains are like high and low there's different levels on the ground so if you live in an area that is prone to flooding there will be flooding when it's raining so a lot of times people don't like to go outside people like to go to other places where it's higher since i've been here every time it's rain i've seen on the news flooding in some area of ghana so flooding is very common when it's raining and then also generally people are just in sour moods when it's raining. When it's raining, people are just not happy because people don't like the rain. I don't like the rain either, so I understand that one, but... And one thing to note, rain in Ghana is not like Canadian rain. The rain here, the normal like everyday rain, is what we would call a thunderstorm or some sort of storm. It rains hard, it rains long. I'm going to try to put a clip in the next video. So yeah, as you can see, the rain is not to be played with. Rain is such a culture shock for me in Ghana because usually in Canada, rain is just anything. It might be spitting, might be drizzling, but you still carry on with life. But here, when it's raining, the world stops. Like and follow for more culture shocks as a Canadian living in Ghana. My mom and you hear me talking about my was saying, you will never know the importance of your body in the rising game only. And now I know that seeing is a real thing. You know, we librarians, we are nice to any skin tone, white, purple, yellow, blue, all type of color. We are nice to everybody, but not in Ghana yet. As long as you are black and you are not Ghanaian, you are dead. Most especially when you are Nigerian, there is a on the ground. And then the part like you hear me in the thing, they'll be like, we don't like foreigners. We just like our own people, Ghanaian. But then the like, foreigners, they like whites. Because you money point point, don't point light skin babies. So it can be worshiping the for the white people. You see that people worshiping white people in the F you see. And a bit thinking the same people in the people in going out country of people looking at you as trash. Like you say human being, like people be worshiping. I won't really get to me. It's in here to me because the apartment we're in right now, we tell the monster we're here for two years. We're schooling, so we'll be here until we finish, and then we hear our, our partner over to her. You see, free. Just for all the girls, it's not being our way because certain my own money will be expiring. The money we should get on top of what you're adding around to 4,500. One of them may come in the world, so that they may give me a place to. So, right now, school is about to open, and now we're coming to go on the front for your partner. Can you imagine? And looking for your partner, and that's going to be easy to. The way in library, you say, yeah, hello, yeah, hello, any empty room around, you say, oh, go chill, let's go, chill, let's go, where? Hey, yeah, but it was so called aging. And as long as aging know that you're not gonna forget what you did, the money will be up, up. The only thing is that you see that they are nice to other foreigners or something, other ones that maybe travel or maybe live their life outside of Ghana, but the typical Ghanaians. I don't know what they even to say. My mom will be saying, Kenyans are selfish, they don't like other people, just themselves. And I see it now. I will not have to ask my brat to come and leave Ghana. If you want home on vacation, fine, but they say you can leave. You will suffer. When you be in school, you will suffer in the school. Church, you will suffer in the church. They will speak English, but then, just because you are foreigner, they don't want to understand them. Or I don't know why they can even be doing that. We have in church and you expect people to come like different people part of the world. You call a church, international church, Arabi. Then you speak your only tree. So I've been in Canada for the past one year and I experienced those shades.
I need to explain every time I just saw. So I'm looking forward to experience more shiggies. Bye. So you see, um, the first lady, she was talking about she paying in dollars. Let me correct. She is a student. She is a student in Ghana and okay, so she is in the tertiary and she is paying in dollars. Um, I learned this thing cuts across every country. Even if you are a Ghanaian and you are schooled in Nigeria, you will pay in dollars. If you are a Ghanaian or Nigerian and you, you are schooled in a foreign country, you pay more than what the locals or the citizens pay. It's, it's something that is like international, like everybody does it. So it's not just peculiar to Ghana. You understand so basically that was what she was talking about but i just want to make it clear to people who are watching that this thing cuts across everywhere everybody pays in dollars especially when it's in, it's in africa and outside africa you are going to pay more than the citizens so it's a normal thing and let me come to blue beatrice blue beatrice this year jollof and banana i don't get it blue beatrice please <laughs> this one it's been a long time i saw you i learned you have a problem with your channel and all that but listen this jollof and banana dear i don't know if you're nigerian watching this let me know is it nigerians who do this or in ghana because to be honest with you in ghana i have never seen anything like that i have never ever seen anybody eating jollof with a banana it is rather plantain and the plantain too we fry it before we eat it with jollof so i'm kind of surprised if you've seen you are ghanian for instance and you've seen anyone do that in ghana before please put it in the comment section or if you're nigerian too and you do that in nigeria please put it in the comment section Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.